Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a WebEx session from the WebEx Control Hub using uh, the additional functionality that comes from Thousand Eyes. Thousand Eyes gives you the ability to see and visualize the network path along the way, uh, but we've now brought that functionality into the uh, Control Hub inside of WebEx as well. So I'm gonna show you how that works, how you would actually troubleshoot a live meeting, at least at a high level, and go from there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's dive into it. First things first, when we look at the troubleshooting tab inside of the WebEx Control Hub, we'll hit troubleshoot, we'll come to meetings and calls, we'll actually type in the username of the person hosting the meeting or the name of an endpoint in the meeting. There's a number of different metrics you can use to search for a live meeting. In this case, this meeting is uh, in progress. I'm gonna open it up. Overall, the quality looks good uh, from that high level view. You can see there are two participants. I'm actually gonna select this, the Tech Catalyst endpoint. As this populates, you'll see a bunch of different data, audio quality, video quality. One thing that's unique when the Thousand Eyes integration is completed is this network path. You can see the network path is green, meaning it's uh, you know pretty good uh, quality. What we can do is highlight this network path and actually click on it to get an expanded view of the actual network path. Now this data is coming from Thousand Eyes and we can jump over to Thousand Eyes by clicking this launch Thousand Eyes dashboard. We'll do that in a second, but before we do that, I wanna show you what's available in Control Hub. First, you'll see that the client device is here. You can dig deeper into the network. You can see the uh, IP, IP address of the primary or, or of the default gateway and go even deeper. The next hop is the first hop on the public internet. That's full span solutions. That's a network that I control actually. You can see the IP addresses along the way. Next is this hop, NetFast, Texas Precision is the next. And you can see there's actually two router hops in that path and on and on until you get to the service that you're connecting to. In this case, we're connecting to WebEx. There's a handful of routed hops inside of the WebEx network uh, as well. But again, ultimately you get, a, you get visibility into that full path along the way. Finally, if you click the cloud on the end, that's the service. You can see the final destination IP address. You can see the total latency and uh, some additional details here. Location looks like is San Jose. So let's click this Thousand Eyes dashboard link and jump over there and take a look at this data. Here you can see the Thousand Eyes dashboard for the Tech Catalyst WebEx board agent. And a lot of this data looks a little bit familiar, particularly this network path. There are a few other things though. Here is a latency graph and you can see latencies holding around 100 to 100 and 102, 101 milliseconds. We can actually toggle this and see loss we can see jitter. Jitter is a really good piece of information to have for voice quality issues as well. Uh, and again, we can just look at different metrics for uh, this particular system to understand why we may have had issues in that meeting. Let's look at the path data down at the bottom here again. Uh, here is that router and endpoint view that we saw. There's the full span solutions hop. And here's this roll cage technology this hop in between here is actually interesting to me because it's 57 milliseconds of latency. Now, typically that's not a big issue. Uh, and in this case, I'm just drawing it out because I've actually created this issue. I know that this hop is actually a GRE tunnel over the internet from the Northeast the whole way to Dallas. So it, uh, it you know, naturally it ha has some additional latency, but you can filter and look for these types of issues by adjusting some of the sliders inside of Thousand Eyes. In this case, if I up this to be you know, 20 or 30 milliseconds, you can probably make that error go away. Again, it was 57 milliseconds, so if we set it to 70, you know, kind of goes away. It's not an issue anymore. Um, but what you want to do when you're troubleshooting, look for those problem areas. Look for some, anything on this map that is red with the default settings. And again, I've, I've tuned mine down to ensure that uh, something did show up, but uh, definitely keep an eye on that. Something else you can do is move these hops to better examine different elements of the network. So if I look at hops uh, closer to the service, we can actually see these different uh, paths inside the WebEx network. Now here you can see the path uh, diverges and takes two different routes, uh, at least in some cases. And here's another high latency link, 37 milliseconds and 37 or 38 milliseconds. 
you can see if you look closely closely uh, you can see it's part of an MPLS tunnel you also see that it's Dallas Fort Worth to New York I believe and uh, what you can deduct from this is hey that's a long that's a long path so you know it is very likely that the latency is a little bit higher um, really there's no major issues in this network itself with the default settings typically the default settings here are going to really draw your eye to major issues um, and again if we go back to control hub we see that this meeting really is functioning quite well so maybe not a good example uh, fortunately I don't have any issues with my network so it's a little hard to illustrate uh, issues but that is how you would dive into network paths related issues in Thousand Eyes. Hopefully that's been helpful. Let me know what you would like me to double click on and go deeper in the next video. Leave that in the comments section below. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching and we hope to see you back sometime soon.